the outset of the film's narrative, we are introduced to two thieves, who are stealing wood from the forest. Suddenly, a thief hears a sound coming from a tree. He gets scared and starts running. A woman falls from a tree. She was pregnant. Actually, there was a creature in her womb. It was yearning to come out. Suddenly, a man comes there. He shoots the thieves and kills them. Because he came to know about the creature. After that, in the story, we see a boy named JC. He came to take his dad. JC's dad had a tattoo on his hand. It looked like he was a member of a cult. Cult means those people who believe in magic. JC's dad tells him in the car that he is the owner of a motel. He has rented a house far away. Criminals come there. It means those who do bad things come there to escape from the police. They give JC a packet of his mom's secret in the car. That this is your mom's last memory. And this was the reason why your mom died early. We see that an old man was sitting behind his car. He was a criminal. He wanted to escape from the police and cross the border. JC's dad brought both of them to his motel. He says while eating with JC that this place is very far from the city. Our debit and credit cards are of no use here. And there is often a problem of food here. The old man who had come with them. He says to JC's dad that show me the room. I want to rest. Actually, a girl Anjali had sent him. She used to work with JC's dad. JC's dad used to give her money for this work. The old man in the motel tells JC's dad to go to his room. And he also says that if he is not given a room to stay, then he will take back his money. But JC's dad says wait a little. Then they take both of them to the motel basement, where they see a pool and some pictures made on the roof. JC was quite surprised. Now JC's dad says that you tell that man to take off his clothes. Only then he can go to the room. JC is quite surprised that why his dad is saying this. That man had taken off his clothes on his insistence. JC's dad also makes a picture of him. But that man was a little worried. He was thinking that what does he want to do with me? That man was scared. But JC's dad scolds him that go to the room. After which they take their son to the control room. From where all the rooms could be seen. After staying there all the rooms were kept under surveillance. JC's dad says that do you want to see what is happening in that room? JC says yes, only then his dad opens a cupboard, inside which a secret door was made. When that old man lies on the bed and rests, then that bed suddenly starts to get sticky, and the bones of that man's body were breaking. JC was watching all this from outside. He finds it strange to see all this, and starts thinking that how can a bed eat a man? After this JC's dad gives him a bag, and tells him to pick up the rest of that man's body. When JC was doing this, then he sees a creature under the bed. As soon as JC sees him, he starts vomiting. His dad goes to him. At that time his finger was bleeding. He calms him down by giving that blood to the creature, and tells JC that he will not tell anything to anyone about this. He tells him that I only bring men here, because this creature only eats the flesh of men, and attacks women in such a way that they get pregnant, due to which another creature is born. The next day he sees a lady outside JC Motel, who was actually no one else but Anjali. She was talking to the doctor on the phone, because her son was sick. Now JC goes to Anjali, and asks her that who are you and what are you doing here? Because he did not know about Anjali. After which Anjali goes to JC's dad, and tells him that his son is sick. He needs money. JC's dad gives him money, and tells him to bring more people. One day JC's dad and he were going on a road. From where everyone used to cross the border and go ahead, JC's dad puts a trap on the road. He also lays such a net, due to which the cars of the coming people will be punctured. And then people will come to his motel to take shelter, and he will be able to feed that creature to the people very easily. Going back JC tells his dad, how can you be so bad? How did you hand over that old man to that creature? There JC's dad tells him, I want you to take care of my work after me. He also gives him keys. During these talks, JC's car has an accident. When he comes to his senses and sees his dad, his dad was dead. He had died. After his dad's death, he turns into a tree. He gets scared and comes out of the car. On the way, he stops a moving car and asks for help. There was a couple in that car, but they were ready to help him. JC had now brought them to his motel, where Anjali treats him, and tells him that I have brought three criminals with me. I want money for them. JC conveys the message to him. I don't have money now. My dad has died. After which JC goes to meet those people, and gives them food. But the food was very less. A man says, this food is very less, and we won't be able to fill our stomach with it. 
JC lies to him and says, look, this place is very far and my dad will bring food soon. They have gone to get food. Anyway, after having food, everyone goes to their rooms and JC sits in the control room and listens to everyone because his dad had put a camera in every room here. That couple was talking to each other. The boy says that we shouldn't have come here, but the girl says, if we hadn't helped that boy, he would have died, and I don't like it at all. There those three criminals were also talking about going to their house. Then JC sees that Anjali was trying to open that creature's room with a knife. JC goes to him immediately and tells him not to open that room. Anjali says, I know, your dad has hidden the money in this room. He explains, says, look, try to understand. There is no money in that room, but she doesn't listen and opens the door. And as soon as she goes, she starts looking for money in it, but she doesn't get anything. Now when these two were about to leave, then that couple comes there who had saved JC. They are very happy to see that room. JC was stopping them from coming inside, but they don't listen. On the contrary, they throw him out of the room. When they sit on the creature's bed in that room, then that creature pulls the boy inside, means eats him, and makes that girl pregnant. Later when JC goes to that room again, then he makes the girl unconscious. He brought the girl with him, the one who was saved. He cleans her and puts her in a separate room, so that no one knows about the creature. Outside those three criminals were fighting with JC behind the food. That's when everyone hears the sound from the basement. When they go and see, there was that girl in the pool, the one whom JC had put in a separate room. She was floating in the water. That girl's stomach was very swollen. There was a creature's child in her stomach. She was in pain. She tells everyone that someone should cut her stomach and take out whatever is in her stomach. But no one had the courage to do that. That girl cuts her own stomach. We give. A strange creature comes out of her stomach. And as soon as it comes out, it attacks a man there. But his friends save him. The creature fled from that location. The three criminals who were men. One of them tells JC. We have to get out of here soon. Otherwise that creature will kill us all. When they start going from here, they see that someone had punctured their car. They come back and ask Anjali. Because Anjali had brought them here. They tell her, you must have done this. But then they hear a very scary drowning sound, which was of the same creature, which was kept by JC's dad. That's why everyone is very scared. That's when Anjali tells everyone here, that JC's dad had given me this job, that I will bring people here for which he used to give me money. But now I think his dad has hidden a lot of money here. JC says okay, you can check everywhere. JC takes them with him. On the other hand, the other two criminals in the room, they were taking care of that girl, from whose stomach the creature had come out. At that time she was unconscious. That's when one of them hears a sound from the wall. When he turns on his lighter, that's when the man's lighter catches fire. The creature had roots in that wall because of which the creature starts screaming loudly and kills that man. Then the small creature also kills the other man. When JC, Anjali and the third criminal man who was with them, they come. So they ask the girl whom they were taking care of what happened here. She tells that the creature killed everyone. That's when Anjali looks at the small creature and picks him up in her arms. She says that he is very innocent. He does not know what he is doing. That's when JC picks up the child and throws it in the burning fire and tells Anjali to try to understand. This can be a threat to everyone's life. We see that the big creature was angry. He screams loudly. The criminal man was going to kill Anjali by drowning her, because he was getting angry on her. He had brought all of them here. He was also telling Anjali about the death of his friends. He tells her that everything happened because of you. But JC says, look, leave Anjali. I have done everything. He leaves her and catches JC. But when JC sees that the creature has come in the water, he puts that criminal man in talks, when the creature attacks that man. But that man had cut the root of that creature with a knife, and saves himself. Also, JC and Anjali also try to take advantage of this. Now they were going to take that girl from here. There that man was also looking for them. Going out of here, that girl sees a lot of food. JC tells her that we had kept this for a difficult time. That's why the criminal comes there. This time JC had taken her to the creature's room, and throws her on the bed. But that man does not understand. What did JC want to do with her? He starts laughing at JC. And then he attacks JC and starts strangling him. Because he felt that his friends died because of JC. Anjali also came there. And attacks him with a knife. With which he falls on the bed. As soon as he fell on the bed, the creature came. Which pulls him and eats him. 
Now JC and Anjali had come out and start the car and wait for it to get hot. JC goes inside to get his stuff. He now sees the same creature, which looked like a strange tree. That creature was going to attack JC, but his roots were stuck there. After which JC decides that he will finish it, so that this creature does not harm anyone in the future. As soon as he goes to the bedroom, Anjali was sitting there, who was sitting and crying, because her son was dead. But JC sets the bed on fire. Now when he was about to leave, then Anjali was feeling something in her stomach, because when she was sitting on that bed, then the creature attacked her and made her pregnant. Anjali goes far and cuts her stomach, and takes out that creature's child. When JC starts killing that child, then Anjali refuses him, that child also ran away from there. That girl who was with JC, she was trying to run away with the car alone. Then the car stops, we see that the roots were coming out of her body. That girl also dies, Anjali also dies there. JC holds her and cries a lot. When he was going from this place, then he sees his dad's face in a tree. He felt that as if his dad's dead body is in it. He says sorry to him. He says sorry dad that you died because of me. On the way he was also seeing his mom's remains. And goes away. We saw at the beginning of the story. That the creature used to put the tree in the tree. And the woman who died in the beginning. She was JC's mom. And the man who killed the thief. He was JC's dad. And he considered that creature as his son. And kept him in the motel with him. So that whoever comes to their motel. They can feed that creature and fill his stomach. But no one knew this. That where did this creature come from? Where did it come from? And with this the movie ends here.